Okay, today we're going to be taking a look at Euler's method. Um, basically, Euler's method provides us with an approximation for the solution of a differential equation. All right, and my picture here, um, my blue line would be the actual solution to a differential equation that has been solved, and the green line here made up of various line segments is what was generated using Euler's method, and that's an approximation for it. Okay, now, um, basically we're going to be generating points. Every time we do Euler's method, it's going to generate another point, and thus it's going to generate another line segment, and that's how we are going to generate our approximation. Some things that hopefully that you can see from this, we do have a starting point that, that the curve is going to pass through. Okay, so we will use that as our starting point to generate our new points. All right, every time um, you do, you can tell right here, like this first one, I'm pretty close to that actual solution. All right, but every time I generate another point, then my approximation gets farther and farther away from the actual solution. Okay, so your approximation will remain better closer to your original point. Okay, another way to um, have a better approximation would be to pick a delta x, all right, that's relatively small. So the distance, when you generate that new one, if your delta x is smaller, you're going to be generating smaller, shorter lines here. You will stay closer to that real solution. Um, an AP tip, if you are going to plan on taking the AP tip test, um, your approximation is going to be above the curve if the function is concave down and it's going to be below the actual curve if the function is concave up. All right, so just a little helpful hint there if you're taking the AP test. All right, now for my first example, I'm going to go through, there's a lot of arithmetic to it, so on this first one I've already worked it out. And uh, let's zoom in here so that maybe we can see those numbers so they're not so small. Okay, so um, in this particular example here, we're going to use Euler's method to approximate the particular solution of the differential equation dy over dx equals x minus y, passing through the point 0, 1, and using a step delta x equal 0.1. Okay, so um, I find this because there's just so many calculations, it's really nice if you make yourself a little table here. I start with my first column being my point, all right, the point that I'm going to be passing through. I have a column for my delta x, all right, and ours and the examples that we're going to be doing, delta x is going to remain the same. Um, then I have a column where I'm calculating my change in my y or my delta y. All right, Euler's method says that we need to take delta x times dy over dx. All right, so in this one right here, I've got my delta x, and it will be times dy d, dy over dx, all right, in our case, which is x minus y. So that's why I have it set up that way right here. All right, over here is where my newly generated point will be. All right, I will just, whatever my delta x is, I will add it to my x value of the previous point, and whatever my delta y turns out to be, I will add it to the y value, and that will give me my new y value. All right, so on this one, we started with 0, 1, because we were going through 0, 1. I've got a um, delta x of 0.1. All right, then it's do a little bit of arithmetic here. Your delta x times x minus y. Well, x was 0, y is 1. All right, doing the math here, we get a negative 0.1. So this is my change in my y. So now to generate my new point, I'm going to take my x value and add in 0.1. So my new x value for my new point is 0.1. I'm going to take 1 and add negative 0.1 to it because that was my change in my y, and I get a 0.9. Okay, now this is my newly generated point. I'm going to take that point. I'm going to bring it down. All right, and I'm going to do another iteration. I'm going to repeat the process several times, all right, to get several different points here. Okay, so that's the arithmetic. Walking through it again, I didn't think we needed to go through the arithmetic here. All right, these points right here would be the points that would be um, on the approximation, and it would be creating all those little line segments that we saw in the first one. Okay. All right, so that's just basically how you use Euler's method. Now I'm going to go through another example uh, with a little bit different scenario going on here. Okay, so the second one here, we'll actually do the math and work this one out here. Okay, let's say that we're given a dy over dx um, equal to 2 times the quantity x minus 1 and the point 1, 0 as a point on the curve. Okay, we want to use Euler's method to evaluate f of 3 all right, and we're going to use a step of delta x equals 0.5 on this one. All right, so I've got my uh, chart all set up here, ready to go. So I am starting with the 0 0.10. All right, my delta x is going to be 0.5, and that's not ever going to change on this one. All right, now I'm going to do some math here. Let's see, I'll have a 0.5 times two parentheses 
1 minus 1. Whoops, I put in an X there. 1 minus 1. All right, that's going to be 0. whole thing's going to be 0. So my delta Y in this first one is going to be 0. So coming over here, generating my new point, 1 plus 1.5, 1 1.5. 1 and then 0 plus 0 gives me 0 for my new point. All right, I'm going to take my new point, and I'm going to bring it down here. 1.5, 0. My delta X, 0.5 stays the same. All right, now I've got to calculate my delta Y. So it'll be 0.5 times 2, and then my x value is 1.5 minus 1. All right, doing the math right there, looks like it's going to be about a 0.5. Okay, so 1.5 plus 0.5, that's going to get me up to a 2. And then 0 plus 0.5 gives me a 0.5 there. All right, now I have to keep doing this. All right, over and over and over. I'm not going to plot them. I, I, we, I think I will to show you at the end the comparison between the two. Okay, um, but I'm just going to keep doing this. Now, if I come up here and I reread my question here, I need to evaluate f of 3. All right, so I'm going to need to keep doing this until I get an x value of 3 so that I can then, approximate using Euler's method, approximate the value of f of 3. So I'm going to take this point and I'm going to bring it down here. We're going to do it again. So I'll have... 2.5 as my new point there. My delta x remains a 0.5 and calculating my change in my y. So 0.5 and then 2 times 2 minus 1. Okay, that looks like that's going to be about 1. Okay, so um, 2 plus 2 plus 0.5 is going to give me 2 and 0.5 and 0.5 plus 1 is going to give me a 1.5 for my new point. All right, looks like we're going to have to do this one more time to get to 3. So then this will be 2.5, 1.5, delta x of 0.5. Okay, calculating a delta y, 0.5, and then 2 times 2.5 minus 1. Um, I think this is going to come out to be a 1.5. Okay, so last point. 2.5 plus 0.5 is going to give me a 3, and 1.5 plus another 1.5 is going to give me a 3. Okay, so from using Euler's method, my approximation, all right, I can just conclude here that f of 3 equals 3 using Euler's method. Okay, now what I want to do is I want to, you know, as opposed to just generating this, this is just a bunch of arithmetic and doesn't mean a lot. I think what I want to do is I want to take this and let's uh, actually take this differential equation and check it algebraically. Let's solve the equation and then see what actually happens from that. Okay, so to do that, I think I'm going to go to a brand new piece of paper right here. All right, so that original, um, well, let's even write down what we're doing here. We are going to check algebraically. Okay, so if I take that original dy over dx equation that they gave me, all right, dy over dx, all right, and I believe it was what? It was two parentheses x minus one. I think I want to clean that up a little bit and distribute that two before I start to solve this. So dy over dx, and that'll be a two x minus two. There we go. All right, now if we remember how to solve this, all right, we want to separate our variables. We want all of our y's on one side and all of our x's on the other. I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by dx. All right, that's going to give me then a dy equals 2x minus 2dx. All right, next step in solving a differential equation would be to then integrate both sides. All right, so we'll do that in blue here so it stands out a little bit. Okay, so we're going to integrate both sides. All right, so when I integrate dy, I'll have a y. All right, when I integrate over here, let's see, if I integrate there, add 2, I'm going to have an x squared minus a 2x and then plus c, okay, because we can't forget the plus c. All right, now, the problem did say we were going to go through 1, 0, so I can plug that in and actually find my value of c. So let's say at 1, 0. All right, so I'll plug 0 in for my y, I'll plug 1 in for my x's here. So 0 equals 1 squared, 2 times 1 plus c. All right, that's going to give me a 0 equals negative 1 plus c, so that means c has to equal 1. 
All right, so now let's take that, plug that back into my equation so that I have my actual curve. All right, so if I plug that back in right there to my actual cur curve, I'm going to go ahead and do it in uh, function notation. I would have f of x equals x squared minus 2x plus 1, okay? Which, that's a curve that we could actually um, graph relatively easy, all right? And then um, let's actually calculate our f of 3. Um, the actual f of 3, okay, that would be a 3 squared minus 2 times 3 plus 1, 9 minus 6 plus 1, it's going to give me a 3 plus 1, or that's going to give me a 4, okay, so this is the exact answer. All right, and from our Euler's method and approximating, we got a 3. Okay, now, so if you need to actually see that pictorially, let's go ahead and look at it pictorially as well. Okay, this right here is our actual, actual solution, and we can tell that's a parabola, all right, uh, with a vertex at 1, 0. All right, so let's just sketch that out really quick here. All right, we know it's going to be a parabola at 1, 0. Um, one, two, three, four. At three, we know it's up to four. One, two, three, four. Because three, four right there. So let's do a rough sketch here. So my parabola would look something like this. Okay, that would be my exact solution. Okay, now not accurately doing the Euler's approximation, but just a little bit. Okay, we went through one zero when we did Euler's method. All right, and then when we calculated using the approximation, we got f of three equaling three. So f of three equaling three, the approximate curve then would be going through somewhere like that. So that would be Euler's. approximate solution. Okay, so hopefully you're kind of getting an idea here of what you're doing with this. All right, you know, we can solve them by hand most of the time. However, there could be some differential equations that we can't solve by hand, so then we can use Euler's method and we come up with an approximate solution. All right, so um, just kind of a couple examples to walk you through Euler's method to get you familiar with that. If you're finding that you uh, like the videos and um, they help you, then go ahead and subscribe and you'll be able to know when I'm putting new videos out all the time. Thanks.